Okay. <laughs> so you guys have toured with an impressive array of musicians, such as Guns N' Roses, Three Days Grace, and Storm, people like that. Um, is there any band that you guys would like to tour with that you haven't toured with? Yeah, man, there's a definitely bands we would like to tour with. But, you know, there, there's always the ones that seem just a touch unrealistic, you know what I mean? We, we would love to go out with, you know, Pearl Jam and Soundgarden and, and uh, the Foo Fighters, and, you know, it would be great to get one of those tours and get that phone call. But, you know, for the most part, you know, we're, we're and I hate to say this in, in, in any, this is no disrespect to any band, but a lot of the other bands that we that we have already toured with, you know, we don't, we don't look up to them and dream to be them. You know what I mean? We want to. We want to be doing that ourselves. You know what I mean? Like the bands we look up to are, are the are the are the legend, the icons. You know what I mean? Everyone that's in our in our era, man. You know, we're trying to go out there and and, uh, and, and put a fucking show on. So we're the ones headlining the rooms. You know. Um. So what what do you look forward to the most with Desire this coming out in mid March? Uh. I just, you know, I just like giving music to the fans, man. It's exciting for us. It's exciting for them, and and uh, it's always exciting anytime we get to release something we've worked hard on. And and uh, you know, we're just we're just happy. You know, we're happy to, to to play music and create music, and that's really what we're focused on. Right now. Okay. So, um, personally, what song of yours speaks to you most? Uh, there's a lot of them. You know, I mean, you got to remember, it's tough to ask me like that because. You know, the, I wrote all the lyrics, and, yeah. and you know what I mean. So it's each song has a lot of meaning to me. You know, if you were, if the most personal song I probably ever wrote is a song called "Brother" off our first album, but they've all they've all touched me very differently. And uh, you know, I think a song that has you know positively impacted the most people would probably be um, "Alive." Okay, so um, I know that you guys have a pledge music campaign for the fourth full-length mm -hmm. album. Um, for the fans, can you explain the campaign a little more and whatever you want them to know about it? Yeah, number one thing is that pledge campaign helps us from not have to answer into a bunch of dickheads in suits. I mean, that's that's the truth of it. You know, we're 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 not trying to ask ten people for their opinion before we release music that we want to release. So, and we we also want to release the music to our fans when we feel like it. So, that's what the you know the pledge helps with that, and and honestly, it just helps us get everything we work so hard for her you know we're doing a lot of cool exclusive things on there you can go go-kart riding with with some of us you you know you can have a night out in vegas with us we're trying to make it cool and exciting and uh, you know our fans feel part of things from the beginning but at the same time you know we're we're, we're not trying to answer to anybody and, and be heard you know i'm not trying to call seven people to ask them if i can take a piss you know so those days are over and clutch helps that um so what do you think that the new album is going to have that sets them apart from the rest of your albums? We're just always trying to be great, man. You know, no matter how it happens, you know, we're we're always trying to do something great and always trying to be a part. You know, we're trying to place ourselves in whatever history there is left in rock and roll. You know, I mean, we want to be in the discussions for this era, definitely. So every time we go in there, we try to do something that's, that's just uh, that we love, we vibe on, and we feel is great. Um, do you feel like you guys have grown as musicians or changed styles at all from your the song Invincible to ones like the new one that was just released? I get it. I'm sure we have. Yeah, I mean we're we're constantly trying to grow and, and um, you know we've we've had the addition of uh, Rob on guitar, which has definitely you know given us a, a more unique sound. And you know at the end of the day, we're we're just trying to. Uh, to play together and have fun and, and you know we earned it you know we come out here and we play hard uh, day in and day out and, and uh, you know I, I honestly think that we're one of the best bands there is so we're trying to just prove that every day um, so out of all of the producers that you guys have worked with some of them award winning which style of producing did you personally like the best? I like it when we just do it ourselves really? honestly I feel like every producer we've had is you know I like when they give their little input but for the most part you know they're 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 not letting us do some of the essential things that we want to do. But I respect everyone we worked with, and, and uh, I learned a lot from each guy. And, and you know, I've taken some of their tricks, and, and I'm able to apply them, and we're able to apply them for what we're doing now. So maybe I'll find someone who's right for us. You know. Mm -hmm. um, if you weren't doing the whole music thing, what would you be doing? You know, I'd be. I mean, my number one focus is my kids. 
taking care of my kids and, and uh, whatever I had to do to take care of them, you know, and, and uh, you know, fortunately music still helps me be able to take care of them and, and, and provide for them and the day that it doesn't, it'll be a sad day, but, you know, I'll probably be on my own terms. You know, I've built a lot in this business and I, I'm going to go out on my own. I'm not going to be taken out by just the times, you know, and, and uh, you know, I'm sure there's, I feel like I'm a talented fellow. There's some things I could do. Um, so if you could rewrite or redo any of your songs, which one would you want to redo or, or work harder? I probably would have re-recorded We Came off our last album. Uh, I just hate the way it came out and it was a hit song. So when I hear that on the record and I hear the way it was recorded, it bums me out. Um, so who so far has been your favorite band? I can tell you that it's not been the Pretty Reckless. That's been our least favorite band to tour with. Uh, our favorite band to tour with, probably, I'd probably say Three Days Grace has been the coolest group of guys. You know, when, when, when you're playing in front of 4,500 people a night, 5,000 people a night, and you're out on the road with guys who are so humble, and so uh, they get it, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, if you put, if you put 500, 600 people in a room, you start walking around like you're an asshole, I don't think you're gonna have a very long, illustrious career. I mean, you know what I mean? That's just 100 more than we put in a room. You know what I mean? So, three days grace when you're putting 5,000 people in a room, I wouldn't even have cared if those guys were assholes to us, but it just happens that they were the nicest guys to us. So, what does that say? Um, so, you guys have played almost every U.S. rock festival that there are. Are there any rock festivals in any other countries that you guys are really hoping to play soon? Yeah, we want to play Soundwave. We want to play uh, um, all of them, pretty much. You know, we, we want to play Download, but... It's just a matter of one of those taking a chance on us and getting us over there because all it's going to take is for us to play one show in front of those crowds oh, and we can see what we're capable of. Mm -hmm. um, is there any place that you guys haven't toured yet that you personally would like to go? Yeah, like 50. I mean, I want to go to UK and Ireland and Japan and, and Tokyo. And I mean, there's a lot of places we want to go. We got a big list of goals set for what we want to do. Um, yeah. And the last question is what is some of like the coolest things that fans have done for you guys? Our fans are like a cult following of great fans, and we're very blessed, and that's why we also can have the attitudes we have and, and, and make the moves we're making is because we we have a such a great fan base who comes out and supports us, so it helps us tell everyone trying to fiddle with our with our music to fuck off a little more, you know what I mean? Because we have such a great fan base, it allows us to be bolder, to be innovative, and, and that's that, in the times of music, the only thing you can be is bold and innovative. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.